Hey guys, it's the King Coopers here. Welcome back to more Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga. In the last episode, we did Chapter Four, Jedi Battle. In the last, in this episode, we will be going into Chapter Five, Gunship Cavalry, which in this game is much easier than Lego Star Wars One. The pod race and Gunship Cavalry in the original were so annoying. <laughs> and the worst part is they brought them back as bonus missions. That if you're going for 100%, you gotta do them. If you never experienced epi uh, Lego Star Wars 1, well, <laughs> you can suffer through it with our, if you were going for 100%. Those of us who actually played it probably cringed when we found out that they brought those back as secondaries. Anyway, most of the mini kits in this level you can get, and the red brick. Okay, I know where it is. Don't worry, we don't need some special ship for this one. Anyway, we're playing as a gun Republic gunship. Now, just really, it's a pretty simple mission. You just gotta avoid crap. Don't not really die, get money, and blow up force fields. That's about it. Now, originally, I think only the snow speeder had the tow cable, but in this game, you, well, because in Lego Star Wars 2, there was that old save thing extra that you could play as the ship uh, characters from Lego Star Wars 1, and I maybe a Republic gunship for free play on the space missions, but... Anyway, I don't think it had a tow cable. I think only the snow speeder did, but they gave the Republic gunship it, too. That doesn't matter. Anyway, once we pass this first force field, keep an eye on the right side of the screen, for you will find your red brick, and I think it's right here. No, it's not. Oh... Okay. I'm actually wanting to find it. I think it might be up here. Should I actually turn on power detector now? Should I? Oh, wait, I don't even... I haven't even bought it. Duh. There we are. I, I know what that is. That's a exploding blast of bolts, which will turn your fire into, uh, like a thermal detonator thrown. Which can be interesting. Whoa, whoa, weave, weave. Why I say interesting, because if you hit something with a blaster bolt and you have explosive blaster bolts on you're too close to it you'll blow yourself up just like a thermal detonate that's where exploding blaster bolts could come in but another another time back or should I just come back here for that uh, actually, I think I can just get it, because we're doing this pretty fast. Like I said, very easy compared to the original. In the original, you had to beat the... Okay, for this, I'm just going to talk about the originals. In the original for Padres and Gunship Calvary, you had to beat the clock, okay? It's not bad enough that you had to just get through it. Like, in uh, the pot race, you couldn't let Sabalba win. No. You fit. You don't beat the clock. You don't beat the clock, you'll have to restart. Yeah. And this one, I think Gunship Calvary on the other. I don't know what's the worst offender. Gunship Calvary or pod race? Pod race is annoying. Though I purely hate. No, I think Gunship Calvary might be a little easier now that I think about it, but when I was younger, I loathed it. 
And we're already at the final area of this place. Now, what we must do is use those bombs to need to find those bombs. Need to use these and truck them into those laser things. And thing is, though, in the original, you had to blow these things up with your cannons and all that, which is fine and all. But you had to beat the clock, and I can rec I I can even begin to tell you how many times I failed. Just because I was one second short of doing it. There's actually a, like like the last mission of a uh, Revenge of the Sith. There's a part where you have to get out before the clock runs up, but you can easily extend the time. Of course, in those pod race stuff, you can't extend the time. I'm so glad they took it out and just have you make the laser turns impenetrable and uh, just have you do now that I now that I just revealed said that now I don't like the name anymore <laughs> oh, this is uh, well. That happens because this is live. I didn't pre-plan this, so yeah. Ooh. All right, now the easy part. Yeah, in the original, you just had to blow up those laser turns to blow these things up. Well, uh, and by the way, in the original, it's a side shooter. Like your gunship's fixed. At a certain angle, and you're just moving side to side to blow this thing up. Which kind of sucks. There's a Commerce Guild tank just walking. A couple tanks that were after us were Hailfires. Maybe. Now, I know where the red brick is for a mission coming up, because it's it may be difficult to spot. So for y but of course since I played that mission so many times I know where it is. I know where it is. But for you guys I may well, actually I don't have the money for it. Oh, well, I'll show you guys. If you guys have bought power brick detector already. I would turn it on at that point. Because it's real helpful. The next... Holy crap. Why not? Let's finish a Attack of the Clones in this episode. Why not? All we got left is a boss fight. Sure, the first part of it, getting to the boss isn't that great, but... Why not, I say? Because <laughs> all we got left really is a boss fight. Good thing Padme accidentally fell out of that thing. Uh, doesn't matter, I didn't have any studs on me. Also, this is also another point that Force Grapple leaped in. Anyway, just follow Dooku. Now, Count Dooku was once a great Jedi Master, one of the greatest battle masters we he had. They had. Now, uh, there are l 20 lost Jedi who left. They are lost, the lost 20, because they left the Jedi Order for reasons unknown. They didn't die, they just left unexpectedly. Yeah, sure, other Jedi have done it, but they have reasons. Like, the Lost 20 don't. And actually, I think Dooku left because he wanted to dabble in... 
in the dark side, but the Jedi told him not to. Let me quickly look at this on Wikipedia. Ads. Lost 20 of the jet. Lost. Only 20, it says only 20 Jedi have ever left the Order. That's wrong. There have been Jedi that have left the Order. Just, they weren't really well known. Count Dooku was well known, of course. He was a great swordsman trained in Form 2, Makashi. Makashi, of course, being originally made to counter Form 1, Shi Cho, but that's at basic principles. The higher levels, it's a great offense. It's meant for blade-to-blade -blade combat. Like lightsaber fencing. The Count Dooku was the most recent and most painful one to leave. Yeah, it's Jedi Masters. Ah, that's why it's the Lost. It's only if it's Jedi Masters who leave. It's not Knights or Padawans. It's the Jedi Masters who voluntarily resigned their commission and left the Jedi Order over ideological differences. That's right. Huh. One of the earliest members was actually Darth Fan... was the Embarian Imbu Jedi Master Phanius who became Darth Ruin. <laughs> 12 by year 90, 990 BBY, and ending with Master Duke. He left because of a disenchantment within the Galactic Senate, and then... Darth. Oh, well. Following the dissolution... The dissolution of the Order in 19 BBY, Anakin considered himself the f to be the 21st member, even though he wasn't made a master. Oh well. Matters not. Give you some info. Anyway, while you were watching that, because I was looking at that. Anyway... Money, 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 money. I think he's got a... This place has a really low... Stud thing. The other one over here needs a high jumper. But of course, we can just grab it. Yeah, you need a high jumper. And that one, of course. Doom backflip. Whoops. Sorry. That happens. You gotta wait for them to step on the panel. Ah, oh, I didn't manage to do it. Sometimes I like to have it, and then when the cutscene shows the door open, I like to just fall down. He's even got his curved blade. Anyway, just kill Count Dooku. There we go. Now he's gonna chuck stuff. The red brick is on top of the tower behind him, but we need a shorty for that. Ooh, that was close, Dooku. Huh. 
There we go. Now let's go face two. 10,000, that's kind of low. Just throw stuff at him. Actually, when we have to throw stuff at him, it doesn't lower his hearts. It's really weird. Just throws him off guard, I guess. Huh. And only after three heart, three or four hearts of damage, Anakin loses his arm. Of course, Dooku didn't throw the lightning at us. Sidious would. Oh yeah, he's got to do the Makashi salute when Yoda shows up. His old. Master. I love their I love Yoda's uh talk with their battle talk. They're like right. Yeah. Dooku had beaten Anakin and Obi Wan and had deactivated his lights over Yoda hobbles and he reignites his blade. And, uh, they talk and all that, uh, Yoda, Dooku throws lightning at Yoda, Yoda be, is, shows off that he's a true badass because he can just absorb that stuff, so, yeah, and then they're, they duel, and Dooku's like, Obviously, this contest cannot be decided by our knowledge of the Force, but by our skills with the lightsaber. And then they get into a duel, and they're telling like, Fought well you have, my old Padawan. This is just the beginning. And all that. Anyway, just finish the fight. How did Anakin get over there? Yeah, we're not doing Super Story until the... Yoda. Actually, in the first game, when you're playing as Yoda in the hub, if you double... No, actually, I think you could do it on Kashyyyk as well. Uh, in that game. When you play as Yoda, you could... Uh, uh, when you double jump and you put your lightsaber away, Yoda could get this, um, this hover chair, that hover chair that he had in episode two. That was awesome. But they got rid of it in this game. What the heck? Can't you give, like, have, like, two different Yodas? Like, one of them's, like, episode prequel. It says Yoda, like, prequel and then Yoda original or something like that. Thing? <laughs> now the fast ways to get a Yoda around now is just jumping or walking speed without pressing the jump button is just have him hold his lightsaber because he because he really just he can't really hobble he just does this thing where I'll show you. Oh, but like, see, he n walks normal. He's walking pretty slow. Of course, jumping always does it. Now, now watch this. Pull your lightsaber out. Uh, yeah, see, he does this little kick thing. Helps him get around. They really could have given him his hover chair. Why is Yoda's head like? Hanging to the side. Why does he hang his head? It's like Yoda couldn't even get on the pad. Anyway. Uh, who do we buy? Django. Minara. We'll buy a super battle droid. We'll buy a young Boba. 
Luminara is the only Jedi we could buy at the moment. Anyway. Oh, well, there's Dax. He doesn't do much. He just... Just to play a randomly quest. Anyway. So that's episode two. Next time, we will begin episode three, Revenge of the Sith. One of my favorites, either this one or Return of the Jedi, and then episode four right behind that. So, yeah. See you guys next time.